in the ancient times man was a nomad what is a nomad a person who keeps wandering the wanderer so he led nomadic life why very simple just like today he also needed food and for food he would go from one place to another collect fruits and berries and roots or kill animals and somehow satiate his hunger but as time passed then he also started settling down he came to know which plants actually could provide food so he started settling down where he could get plenty of food and water and in due course of time he also started to cultivate plants he could grow plants he learned the technique and that's how agriculture was born now what is agriculture the word agri means feed and culture means cultivation so cultivation of fields is agriculture and interestingly enough the story of human civilization is very close to the evolution of agriculture or the entire history of agriculture if we start study the two things together we will find there are lot of parallel things going on as man advanced the way to cultivate plants also advanced now going back to the name of the chapter crop production and management now what is a crop we understand that there are plants we also understand that we can grow plants maybe some of you have a kitchen garden at your backyard but then what is a crop crop is a group of same type of plants which are grown in one place and on a large scale for example if there is a wheat plant then the entire huge area which runs into acres has only wheat plant similarly if there is paddy there is only paddy plants and so on so let's define crop crop is same type of plants grown in one place and on large scale whenever you are defining remember there are some key expressions now in this case the key expressions are same type of plant grown in one place and on large scale so if you just grow few plants at your backyard or in your kitchen garden we can't call it crop or if some plants are of wheat some of some other plant then also it's not a crop so a crop is grown in a field a large area so in this chapter we are concerned with how a crop is produced production and how we can manage it effectively so crop production and management